All right, let's keep going. Let's see what's going on. Uh, that Comfy team, I actually changed to Sharpedo instead of, like in case you guys ever want to use my teams. Uh, I just changed Sharpedo from the, uh, whatever it was that I had, the Psychic Fish stupid thing. Uh, it seems it's just better in general, so. Yeah, it's a really peaceful song. Not bad. I like it. Um, so this guy's team is, uh, interesting. He has an Alolan Persian, which is actually really annoying. Uh, no ground type, I'll lead off with Jolteon. Outspeeds absolutely everything possible. And he's probably... Does this thing even... I don't think this even gets rocks in pre-bank. So... I'll just Volt Switch out, get a little bit of chip damage off on him. As he goes for Bullet Punch, which I am perfectly okay with. No problems with that. And, uh... I'm actually pretty weak to Mega Metagross. Having it weakened a little bit is really good. So I'm just gonna go into Scizor. And honestly, Scizor can sweep this guy's team really easily if I just weaken a few things and get my rocks up. So I'll just go for Brutal Swing. Can't do anything to me. Whatsoever. So I'll get a Brutal Swing off. Whatever goes into will take a decent amount. Yeah, it's, it's a little bit of damage, I guess. I'll just go into Heligo and get my rocks up. I think. Uh, Tapu Finny actually has a pretty good chance of sweeping him as well. Which is nice. Unfortunately, he's going to be able to get his T-Spikes up. And that Andy also burns me as well, which is more unfortunate. I'll just go for T-Bolt here, get some damage off on him. And uh, he actually doesn't have really any good switch-ins to this. Unless he has like a Scarf Tapu Bulu or something. So, just throwing off some Thunderbolts would be good. See, so he actually goes into Celesteela, which is amazing. It might be 2 a KO'd. No, that is definitely a Spadef. It's definitely specially defensive. Um, yeah, that is, that is very specially defensive. So, he will most likely just be going for a Heavy Slam here. Uh, I don't want him to have Flamethrower. So, I'll just go into Executor, it doesn't mind being poisoned really that much. And uh, unfortunately he has Spadef, so my flamethrowers are going to be abs doing absolutely nothing. But he can't really hurt me at all either, so I'll just go for a flamethrower here. As he tries to leap seed me. Doesn't, it doesn't work like that, buddy. Doesn't, doesn't work like that. <laughs> so I'll just keep firing off flamethrowers, it'll uh, hit everything relatively hard. As he decides to stay in, I don't, I don't know if that's the play. Once this thing is weakened, Scizor just, like, wins. So... Yeah. Uh, I'll go for a Dragon Hammer here, because it should be able to knock it out. As he goes into Tox Specs and takes a little bit of damage. From the right home about, but a little bit of damage. I'll go back into Heligo again and uh, absorb these T-Spikes. As he probably sets up another one, yeah, it's whatever. Um, and I'll just go for Power, power Gem. Honestly, I think Thunderbolt's still just the best. Uh, hits everything pretty hard. As he stays in with his Toxapex. And he's not doing anything. Like, he isn't accomplishing anything here, and eventually I'll get Paras and stuff. Uh, because of the burn nerf. As he goes into his own Heligo, takes a little bit of damage. Uh, I don't run very much speed on my uh, mine Heligo, so he's definitely faster than me. Uh, I'm not too sure what he would be going for here. I'm actually kind of weak to this as well. Uh, unless he has HP Fire, he can't touch Scizor. So he just goes for his rocks, which I am okay with. I don't want him to have HP fire, but then again, I don't... I don't think I've ever really seen them run HP fire. I would like to just SD up, but if he gets a burn on me, then I can't really... I just lose my scissor pretty much. So I'll just go for a bullet punch, just in case he decides to stay in for whatever reason, as he does. He might have had HP fire. Uh, just, like I said, it's definitely... A viable thing to have, because Scizor completely walls that, so. Um, no point in risking that, I guess. And I don't think he has a spinner. He does not have a spinner, so his, uh, his Celesteela is actually just dead. Uh, Lil Persian comes out. And he has Stab Foul Play, so I definitely do not want to stay in.
I am just gonna go out into my Tapu Fini, and yeah, I guess that works. See, he has Roar. That's very strange. It's very strange indeed. Uh, I'll just fire off Power Gem here. He's probably gonna Parting Shot. Yep. Into what? Do tell. Toxapex. I really don't care about you. I'm going into Tapu Fini, I'm getting rid of these rocks. You cannot do anything to Tapu Fini. Yeah, get this, get this out of my sight. I don't want any of this. Unfortunately, Tapu Bulu is going to come out and probably just kill something. Because it's Tapu Bulu. And that's, that's what it does. He actually decides to stay in. Not sure why. Uh, but Misty Terrain is up, and I think I won't actually be poisoned. Yeah, I don't get poisoned on the turn coming in. And this is perfect. Uh, he will be able to survive a Psychic, but he will not take it well. And unless he has Scarfed, he just, I outspeed him. So, I'll just fire off a Psychic. Yeah. Weakening this is definitely a good idea. He's actually dead from recoil, so. Uh, that's really the only thing I need to tap you Lele for. So, I will gladly take that. And I will just go into my Jolteon here. It pretty much just kills something. He's probably just gonna parting shot here. So I will just go for Thunderbolt and get some damage off. He probably didn't expect the scarf. So he's Z parting shots. What is he going into? Celestila. I mean, that's cool and all. But you're gonna take a lot from this. Okay, you took absolutely nothing from that. Okay, that did that did zero. Feels bad. All right, uh, Executor is the play again, I guess. Immaculately predicting that leaf seed. I kind of want to earthquake, just predicting his box specs. I mean, he has no reason to stay in. Yeah. <clears throat> so Earthquake does a little bit of damage. Not really much. Uh, this thing's annoying. I will just go into Jolteon, I guess, and Volt Switch. I don't know why he keeps setting up Toxic Spites. Everything is poisoned. So, doesn't really accomplish anything there. Sex is Persian, which is nice. Uh, Scizor, I think, can actually just win now. If I get a turn to set up. So I'm actually just going to go into my Naheligo and sack it. Whatever he goes out into, I'm going to just sack it. <clears throat> he goes into Celesteela, I do not mind that at all. Get this Thunderbolt damage off on him. And how much did Thunderbolt do before? 39. I'm actually not, I actually couldn't kill him with the Thunderbolt, that's ridiculous. Uh, he can't touch Executor at all, so I really don't care. I'll just keep flamethrowering forever. Yeah. Uh, I can 1v1 him even at this low of health. So. That's the thing. Also, the potential to get a burn on Tox Specs would be nice. We do not get one. Um. I'm actually just gonna stay in with Executor. He can't do anything to me, and I don't know. Eventually, I can get crits and potentially 1v1 him. If not, I'll just stall him out of recovers if I have to. I have more earthquakes than he has recovers. Like, he actually can't possibly kill me. So, this might get a little stally, and I might skip past this part. But yeah, he can't possibly kill me here, so. But yeah, if he insists on staying. Okay, he actually just sacked this, which is good. And I think he sacked it. He might just switch out now. I'm, like, I'm not understanding this guy's place. 
I mean, I really don't care. I'll just keep firing off flamethrowers. Unfortunately, I don't have rocks up. I would have loved to have rocks up there. I probably should have went for rocks instead of Thunderbolt uh, that earlier turn. But like I said, um, Executor kind of just 1v1s this team. And uh, I actually predicted that one correctly, which is nice. And unless he gets like a crit heavy slam here, I just survive everything. I don't know why he keeps doing this though. He's really not accomplishing anything. Although I would like to harvest a citrus berry at some point, that would be nice. No? Okay. But, um, I mean, all he's doing is giving me chances to get my citrus berries back. So, you might think he's accomplishing things here, but he's, he's really not. So at this point, I think a combination of Jolteon and Scizor just wins. I'm trying to think what my best play is here. I think my best play is just going into Scizor and Swords Dancing up. If he allows me to Swords Dance up, then I just get this win for free. If not, I might just go to plus six against uh, Toxapex, and I'll probably still be able to 1v1 it, even with a burn. That's just assuming that he does burn me. How much did Brutal Swing do to this before? It's a long battle. Real sorry. Did 25%, so I should be still able to potentially do a KO it after a sword stance boost. And again, this Metagross can't possibly touch me, so. Yeah, he goes for an earthquake that does absolutely nothing. And again, I'll just go for a brutal swing here. He switches out. And I'll just sort of dance again as he just goes for recover, yeah. So now I should just be able to sweep him. I'll actually just go straight up to plus six. Oh he has oh he has haze. Damn it. That actually puts a dabber in my lens. Okay, so that's his full move set, which is really irritating. Um, I'm gonna have to sack tap for Finny then. I actually don't know if I'll be able to win this one now. But like I said, I'm just gonna sack this. I really don't care. Uh, what actually happens here? I'm actually going to calc and see exactly how much damage Jolteon does to Toxapex. I am modest. And a 252 Toxapex takes... Okay, so if I actually hit him with like one more Surf, he'll be in range to almost always die. Okay, he actually recovered. That was a good play. That was definitely a good play. I'm just gonna go into Jolteon and Volt Switch. I don't know if I'll be able to break him, actually. My real only chance is if he switches out into Metagross here, then I can Swords Dance up again and just spam Brutal Swing, now that I know what his set is. It might just come down to if he Scald Burns me or not. That's probably what it's gonna actually come down to. Why does it keep changing my IVs, dude? It's annoying. Okay, Volt Switch is... Uh, does come through, sorry. And, um... Yeah, I should just win from here. Like, as long as he just lets me keep this weakened enough... Now, he is playing this endgame really well, I will give him that. And Scald actually knocks out my Jolteon, so I just, uh, kind of choked there. 
Yeah, I lost that one. Okay, um... I honestly did not think that Scald would knock me out. Jolteon is very frail. See, what I was gonna do was go into Jolteon on that, and then Volt Switch out. Um, but unfortunately, that didn't work. Um... Yeah, he got the burn, so that is a good game right there. Yeah, I played that endgame pretty bad. So, unfortunately, that is uh, going to be a lost battle. But that was a close battle. It was a good one. And uh, that was actually a long enough battle that I can just have that be a full video. Nice. On to the next one.